Hello everyone, this is Aida Qalami from Agrimetsaf Research Company and in today's video I'm going to talk about date diff function in Excel. So as you can see, I have a starting date, ending date and I have something that I want to calculate using date diff. First of all, for calling date diff function, you need to put an equal mark, then you start to write date diff. As you can see, Excel does not index date diff uh, function because of some problems that occurs uh, running this function. And because of that, it, it doesn't index the function. But if you put um, the parenthesis after uh, writing date diff, you can see that the function shows up. So it shows you that uh, it's it has identified uh, the function. Uh, this function actually is used as as the name tells you. It's used for calculating the differences between two dates, and you can uh, check out this difference in terms of number of months, days, or years, or the number of months from last complete year, number of days from last complete year. And also there's another option that calculates number of days after the last complete month. But that one is a little problematic and you should use it with, you know, some certain conditions. You should check it out that it has um, produced the right results or not. I recommend do not use that. And instead of that, use the formulas to calculate um, your desired result. So now I want to, I select my starting date, then ending date. Then in here, I should open a double quotation. Then if I write D, and close the double quotation, it will calculate the days between the, the two dates. If I put M, it calculates the number of months and Y, it calculates the number of years. So that's a simple preview of the function. Now let's get into the results we want. We want the number of months. So what we will do is to write date def opening parenthesis and then starting date, ending date, and double quotations open, M, close the parenthesis. So you can see there is 14 complete months between these two dates. How we can calculate it and how we can check if the result is true or not, we just want to write 20th, uh, day of day uh, of month number eight in 2010 and then we want to fill the months okay until we get into um, month number 10 okay so it's something in here so in here you can see there is 15 but we should actually delete the first uh, line in order to have the right number, okay? Because we have from this date to this date, uh, we count it as one, one, two, three, and etc. So you can see we have 14 months between these two dates. Now the, the, the thing in here is that if we, just um, change this number to to less than this date so it's 20th day of month number 10 if we get it to 19 it gets to 13 why because 14 complete months are counted until the 20th day and if you have only one day less than that date, you don't ha do not have 14 complete months, okay? Then you have 13 complete months. So that's it. Until in here, you have complete months, okay? So now let's get into number of days. 
so let's um, change it to what it was it was 30 and okay so number of days we need to again use date diff open the parentheses and starting date ending date and number of days okay now that's 436 um, days between these two dates uh, I will not check it out because it's a lot so uh, please accept it now I want the number of years let's see what it gets us date death of starting date ending date and we want the number of years you can see there is one complete year between these two dates so we have this date and then and then we want to calculate the years until the 20th day of eight months of the next year we have complete the year and then the ending date in here is something more than that we have until the 10 months so that's one complete year and some other months okay so we have one complete year in here now let's get into another options of this function we can use this function to compute the a month from last complete year as we can do it for here we have one complete year and let's see how many months from this from after that complete a complete of of the year how many months we have so we have to put an equal mark date diff open the parentheses starting date ending date and now in here we will write ym close the parentheses and that's two months okay so we have from here we need to calculate the number of months so in here we have uh the eight month 20th day we have one month after that until we get we get to the ninth month and then we have another one which we, which gets us to the 10 months okay so we have two complete months after the last complete year as you can see here we do not calculate we still do not calculate the incomplete months because we have some days after it but it's it's not a complete month so we have two complete months then it's days from last complete year so another time date diff um, starting date ending date and then in here we have yd i'm sorry yeah it it had uh the closing double quotation and that's 79 days from the last complete year okay so we have from here we can just uh fill days okay so we have to get into the 30th day so it's something in here and then if we count these days um, until here okay so we have from here it's you can see 79 so we get to this date the ending date and we start from the next day after the last complete year so that's 71 days so um i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe tagging sub channel i will see you in the next video and bye